Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 10.30 in Honolulu, 4.30 in New York. It is Thursday, April 16, 2016. And we're looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average, which have been on a rampage, flirting with those record highs, actually coming off after moving well above 18,000 on the Dow, moving below that today off about 113 points at 17,982. S&P's also trading lower on the day. They're off by about 18 points, almost a full percent, 0.87 of a percent, just below 2080 or just at 2080 right now. Now the high 2104, it's an important high. We'll definitely look at that on today's show, the low 2079. So as you can see, we are trading pretty much near the lows on the day. Dollar does appear as though it found a little bit of support at uh, 94 and we've been talking about that over the uh, last couple of days so we'll certainly want to take a look at that and then lastly crude light off about a percent and a half but trading well above 40 43 56. We've added a feature that many of our subscribers have been asking for over the last couple of years, and that is trade alerts to be sent not only by email, but also by SMS text message. We just implemented that yesterday. As you can see on the screen that we're showing you, uh, when you go to the site, you have to be logged in, but if you're logged in, you will see this manage SMS, and I want you to go ahead and click that. That's your first step. Once you actually go and click that, what is going to happen is you're going to go to step two, which means you're going to see this particular screen here and so you'll enter your phone number with the area code right in here it is defaulted for the United States and Canada if you have a different country code go ahead and click that get that to be the appropriate country of origin and then click this to get your confirmation number once you get your confirmation number you are actually all set and what I do recommend is that it will be coming from a phone number which is one five one zero nine Wagner but what I recommend you do is enter that into your contact list as a phone number for the gold forecast or trade alert so that when you do get messages you are able to see that that's coming as a trade alert so traders no doubt we have seen some downside activity first time we've seen that in a couple of days in the US equities markets and the Standard & Poor's Standard & Poor's right now trading off about 15 and a half points at 20 82 50 20 82 75 when we look at our weekly chart you can see that we're just off those highs that's what the top of this particular wick stands for but it's really not until we convert this to a daily chart that you can see really what we're looking at in terms of today's activity I want to go ahead and convert it as I've just done this red candle represents today's particular move and I'll tell you why I'm excited about this I believe that we are going to flirt with the record tops. Now, we're certainly very, very close to that, and today's move has shown me that it has the ability to flirt but not take out that top as of yet. You can see these tops that came in just below that uh, 2100, 20, yeah, 2100. Here is 2100 right on that century mark you've got this top here you've got this top here and lo and behold this has become a resistance area so where can we look for this market potentially to go because the opportunity that we have right now is whether we sell short here and then look to reverse or simply wait to initiate a long position the question has to be where could this market go to if in fact we get a little bit of a corrective action there's a couple of areas that we want to look at the first level has got to be about 2049 and when we look at that particular area you'll see it's a 23 percent retracement but historically we don't get a lot of really good data as you can see I'm looking at these different points in which the market tracked in this area and you can see that there's not very much except for this top which is well above it so I'm not going to call that really a major level because we're not getting any technical price action that matches that assumption However, at 2000, the story changes completely because that is our 38% retracement level. And now when we look for historical data that kind of confirms that, you get this bottom here, here, these go quite frankly a little bit deeper to to give it good relevance but you also get it along here this top here market comes up and it's certainly consolidated in this area you can see that it broke hard but it really broke hard back up here so there is some 
technical evidence that would tell me that that would be a strong place. However, those are much lower than I anticipate the market going to. So what we want to do is look at different rallies and that's what we'll do over the next couple of days, but look at different rallies, for example, to go from 2032 to 82 and then plot retracements there. What we'll probably see is at about 2060 to 2070, which is a, an area that we have identified before that's an area we could see the market maybe trade to, find support and bounce back off of. And so that's what we want to really look at. If in fact, we are fortunate enough to see this market sell off a little bit and then get an opportunity to get back in at around 2049, I think that's going to be significant. And I think that that would be our best play over the next couple of days. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for another daily update and review. The weekend review that is. Bye-bye. Thank you.